Hello there, Mark Cunningham here. And in this video, we're going to take a look at how you can account for business expenses that you pay for personally by using bills in Xero. In this video, I'm going to use the Australian version of Xero's demo company, but the principle is pretty similar all around the world. So you can get value out of this video no matter what country you're from. And if you'd like to learn more about Xero, then check out the links to our courses in the description below. Okay, now in this video, we're going to learn how to reconcile or account for business expenses that you pay for with your personal money. Now there's a few different ways that you can do this in Xero, and in this video, we're going to do it by using a bill. And the reconciliation is done with either a director's loan account or the owner's funds introduced account. And the one that you use depends on the type of business that you run. So for a company, you would most likely use the director's loan account and for a sole tradership or a partnership, etc., you would use the owner funds introduced account. So no matter what you do, the goal is to have the expense go to the profit and loss. And that's a debit if you're into your debits and credits and you want the payment to go to the balance sheet, which is a credit. So after we've done the reconciliation, I'll show you how those end up on those two reports. Now, just a couple of things before we get started. You want your business bank account to be hooked up to zero, but you don't want your personal bank account to be hooked up to zero. So even if you've paid for the expense personally by using your personal bank account, do not hook it up to zero because you don't need to do that for this exercise. All right, so let's go into zero now and we'll see how this is done. Okay, so over here in the demo company, the Australian demo company, what I'm going to do is go to business and bills and I'm just going to create a new bill. And from here, we can create a bill that has all of the particulars of the expense that we paid for uh, with our personal money. So starting from the top, where we've got from, if you're the business owner, this is where you would put your name. Okay, so I've just got my name in there. And then you'll just pick the date on which you made the payment. So I'll just pretend that it was there on the 10th of August. You can put in a reference if you like. If you have some kind of receipt or evidence um, of the payment that you made, you can click on here and you can attach it by uploading it. So that could be a PDF of a receipt or a photograph or something like that. And then down here, what you want to do is actually put in the description and all the other details of the expense. Now, this expense could be absolutely anything. So I'm just going to make one up and then we'll have a look. Okay, so what I've done here is I've just said that I've paid for a business name uh, registration fee out of my personal money. And it's $100 and I've just got $10 of GST coming in on top of that. So the total there is $110. Now I'm coding it to the general expenses, general ledger account, and it brings through the tax rate there, GST on expenses. So that's all correct. And just to remind you though, that this could be anything. So if you paid for some advertising or you paid for a computer or something like that, you just need to put in all the details in here, just based on what you've actually done. Okay, so we can just click on approve. Okay, now this is approved. So what we've got, if I just go back to bills, you can see here that we've got a bill in the system here. This is it. And it's to me, there's the 10th of August, there's $110. And it's in the awaiting payment uh, section here in the bill section. Now, because we didn't pay for this bill through our business bank account, it's not going to flow through um, in our business bank account in zero for us to reconcile we have to make a payment in another way. So what you want to do, if I just duplicate the screen and I just go to the chart of accounts and then over here in liabilities, if I scroll down, there's a couple of um, accounts down here. So one of them is owner funds introduced and the other one is owner drawings. So this is what you would use for uh, transactions with personal money, with the money coming in or out of the business. If it was 
um, a sole trader or if it was a partnership or something like that. If it was a company, you would most likely use a director's loan account instead. But just in the demo company here, we've got this one. So this is the one I'm gonna use. And you can see here, it says funds contributed by the owner. And because we paid for an expense with our personal money, that's exactly what we're doing. We're contributing funds to the business. So if we just click on it, we can just have a look at a couple of details. You can see, you can change the name if you like. You don't need owner A there. You could just have owner. And then you've got the description and you've got the BAS excluded because it's outside of GST law. And then down here, what you wanna do is you wanna make sure you've got enable payments to this account ticked. And that way you can go through and reconcile the bill that we've just done. And I'll show you how to do that in a sec. So if you don't have this account set up um, in zero and you need it, you can just have a look here, look at all the details here and just set it up. It's a current liability by the way. So I'll just click on cancel and get out of there. We'll go back to the bill. We'll open it up. Okay. And what you want to do is come down to this section here where it says make a payment. So we're going to say amount paid is the whole lot there, $110. The date was the same date of the actual bill. Now here where it says paid from, we need to go down here. You can see you've got your bank accounts, your, your business bank accounts there. But like I said, we're not paying for this through the business bank accounts. You're paying for it through here, through the funds introduced account, which is that one over here that we just looked at. Okay, and then if you need to put a reference, you can put a reference in there. I won't worry about it here. And we'll just click add payment. Okay, so that's no longer in the awaiting payment bucket. If we go to paid, it should be over here. There it is, I'll just click on it. And here you can see our bill and you can see that there's a payment down there of $110 and the amount to you is nothing. So now we've actually paid this bill in the system and we can go and have a look at the result. If I just go duplicate and we'll just go to the profit and loss report. Okay, now that happened in August. That was on the 10th of August. So if we just run the P&L for August, that's okay. We'll scroll down and we should see in general expenses here. That's where I coded it to um, over here, general expenses. If I click into there, we can see there, there's the business name registration fee for $100. So that has come through as an expense, as a debit to our profit and loss account. So that's right, because it is a business expense and it should go um, in our profit and loss. And if I duplicate the screen again, and we go to the balance sheet. Okay, so I'll just pick today's date and update. Okay, so this is the balance sheet at 16th of August and the bill was paid for on the 10th of August, you can see down there. So on the balance sheet under current liabilities down here, we should see owner funds introduced $110. There you go. So there's that transaction there, that's the payment there. So instead of paying for it from our business bank account, because we didn't actually pay for it from our business bank account, we paid for it with personal money. It's come through the balance sheet down here. This is where the credit side is. Okay, so that's how you can pay for an expense um, out of your personal money, and then you can create a bill in zero, and then you can go ahead and make a payment to the owner funds introduced account and everything flows through properly to the correct places.